We're back on Smells Like 90s Rock. Sheila, Hot Toddy, DJ Pork, and T-Dog. T-Dog's <laughs> sister actually called in. She did. Mm -hmm. And she's... I she don't is 20 seconds. Okay. Yes, you, you were the one to do it, not me. I'm not going to reveal a lady's... Why is that, like, something? I'm, not, thing. I'm yeah. not revealing a lady's age. I don't understand that either. I don't know why you don't want to know your... You, you know, you, you don't reveal your own age. But since it is a thing, I'll respect it. So I wasn't going to be the one to do I it. I just the slapped like, the hell out of this microphone. As long as they're like under like the like as long as they're in the baby making age, mm. you can say it. The baby making age. Yeah, right? if they're not in the baby making. age. So if they're age, sixty-five, like, they don't want you don't want them to say. Yeah, it. you're not supposed to say it. But if they're they're in the, the like their eggs are not shriveled or dusty, then they can say, <laughs> they can say their age aloud. Send your emails to Sheila. <laughs> By the way, my podcast listeners are angry with you right now. Why? Because I uh, this past episode this week was uh, my review of the new Mystery Science Theater, uh -huh. and I the best I always take the best segment from this show and I put it as a part of the podcast because I'm I'm proud of this show. I'm proud of all the shows. So the best segment from last week was the one talking about your sleeping pattern. Okay. And at the tail end of it, I mentioned that I had seen the new the first episode of the new season, and you kind of. You went off on a little tangent you, were, you criticized you were, it unfairly, probably. You were the descending probably. opinion on that huh? show. I dissented, yes. Yes, and uh, some of them were not were less than thrilled at what you had to say. But Did they like, say mean things to me? No, they were just like, how could she not like it? It's a great show, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, eh, it's, just, uh, it's not her taste. Where are the comments? Huh? Where are the comments where they said this? I don't have comments. I, the, the, it was on Mixcloud on my page. Yeah. But how, So how'd they tell you You have to this? pull up the Mixcloud account on your right. laptop. Well, it's like personal. It's just personal messages. There, because personal messages. Yeah, to they, complain. Cause there's, cause wow. There's no, there's no comment. Well, no, there is a comment section on each episode, but nobody ever comments on the shows. But so, and it, and I say listeners, it was like one person who's a friend of mine who's like, how could she not like the new? Okay, show? but he was like not rude, right? No, she was like, so, how could she not like the new thing? Okay, did like I, I, I would something? have to defend my honor. No, yeah, no, yeah. You're not. Uh, you're not. You don't have to defend anything. I was just saying. I was making a joke. But, no, somebody okay, did yeah. ask. So did somebody ask. She was being slandered anonymous, anonymously on the Internet. I know. That's right. I will. Oh, I'll get you. No, they, they just ask, why well, could she not like It actually used to be. It's, it's somebody that used to be on the old Mystery Science Theater, used to work on the old Mystery Science Theater. So she was asking. Uh, oh, huh. bless her heart. She yeah. had to. Yeah. She, she yeah, was, she's contractually obligated. She was. Mm -hmm. she, was she, uh, she did the costume designs. So she did like everything that you remember that you saw on the show. She was the one that made it. So she was she was oh and she did she costume designed the new version too, this latest version. So she oh, was she bless was her heart. she was concerned about why you didn't like the show. She was they, she because he's afraid that they didn't make a quality show, and they did make a quality. They show. We're, didn't. we're all kind of nerds here, T Dog. <laughs> you don't have do you, don't, do you have any kind of nerd What's uh, your fandom? fandom? What's yeah. your fandom? I don't know if I have one. Oh. Well, What's what's something that you're really passionate about, whether, whether it be music, movies, um, any kind of artistic medium, something like that? Uh, Do you like comic books? No. Do you like movies? Some. Some. What's uh, what's your favorite movie for the for right now? I've actually not seen a movie. In what's one that sticks out to you? What's the first movie that comes to mind that you really enjoy? Come, you look so come well on. Pork. What? Say what? What? Say it again? I'm trying to involve our guest in the I conversation. He's gonna get luck so well with pork. He really, they really are. So Th those two. Uh. This is a this is a dynamic duo. We might <laughs> we might lose them. They might get their own oh spinoff. <laughs> they might take their own spinoff from this show. <laughs> Sheila's hyperventilating. <laughs> oh. I like the X Men though. That's no. my fandom. How do you spend your free time? Well, I guess I need to look into some stuff. What's the last movie you saw? What counts as a movie? <laughs> uh, some a movie that you see on TV, a movie, Anything. or in the theater, or in, in the, the theater, theater on TV, on Netflix, <laughs> anywhere. Well, I don't go to the movies; they're too expensive. Okay, uh, okay. at home. So that's a solid point, by the way. Yeah. That is a very solid point. Yeah. Five dollars for a bag of Skittles. <laughs> Screw well, that. The last movie I watched was Back to the Future. That's a great film. That's a wonderful film. Which one? One, two, or three? Well, it was one of those things where they played played them in order. Back to back. Okay. Back, back oh, to it back. was a marathon yeah. on yeah. TV? Did you watch all three of them? No, I, I couldn't. <laughs> it was, I watched one and half of number two. Okay. That's 
That's fair. That's uh, all right. Honestly, it's not a complete trilogy without the Western no. as the third one. One was the best, so you saw the best one. I don't know. I like two. I think I like two a little bit better than one, but one is considered the best, so you saw the best one. The third one's terrible, but I, I love it for I some really reason. I like the third one. I like the whole trilogy. So when they went to the future, hasn't that date already passed? Yeah, 2015. Yeah. They yeah. had a big celebration about it last year. Yeah. They had a much better... They had a much better future it was than a, we had. That have. was a wonderful future. Well, they did predict Beth. Yes, they did. Yeah. That's, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> they did. You know what we're talking about, right, Sheila? Yes. Yeah, the fact that Biff looks exactly like the president. I and that he and, and that the follow. president. And is, that the, yeah. the actor who played Biff Tan had actually based hit that character off Donald off Trump. Trump, which is I didn't friendly. know that. Yeah, he did. Oh, that's wow. he was the one that asked to have the the, the hair the wig to look like that the way oh, he has it. Oh wow! Yeah, so I know that. That was that was all him, See, Tom Wilson. He was because Tom Wilson's a comedian, mm -hmm. the guy that played him, and so he was like, "Let me do that. I know what we should do for this character." And it'll be glorious. Yeah, it'd be bigly huge. He actually said that bigly huge. No, he didn't. Bigly huge. Uh, but no, yeah, he did that. But they were they were right just by a year though, off a year about the Cubs winning. You remember that? The remember that scene. You remember that from part two? Hello. So, yes. so what else do you do with your free time? Do you have any hobbies? See, obviously, sports is not a big thing in here. No, I don't. I'm not in sports. No, that's what I'm saying. So, I just got nine new text messages from my sister, giving me suggestions of what I should have said. Oh, oh. please share with us. Share Let's with the see. room. Dogs, local businesses, music, Totoro. What is that? I thought y'all were nerds. You're supposed to know this thing, these things. I never claim such things. Sheila doesn't consider herself one, but she is because she watches the Shut up. She watches the, she watches, she watches the Supernatural and the Vampire Diaries. So go ahead. What was it? What's that? Because if you don't tell me, I think it's Japanese porn. No. Totoro is it not. It is Japanese. Oh, well, you're half right. There and we not, go. <laughs> I think it came out in 1989, and it, it was a uh, Japanese kids show but it it was a well done kids oh yeah show. yeah i know that little guy but it was dubbed english but right. then disney got a hold of it and ruined it yeah As they, it does with a lot. they did a movie of it like in the late 90s didn't they or something like I, that i, I feel the like one i the one i grew up was the the english the, dub the english version. dub yes. version right? but i feel like they did like a movie of it like in the late 90s but I recognize those characters now. I it's think a, I watched it. When yeah, I it's there. an old Japanese kids movie. Yeah, I, f I feel like I've seen that before. I'm not sure. I don't that, think I've ever even, that big, even heard that of big it. That big thing looks honest. like me when I wake up in the morning. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it an anime? Yeah. Yes. Okay. What did you do? Google it. Mm -hmm. Yes. We did. We we are on top of things. Okay. Are about. you into anime at all? That's that could be your fandom. That's sort of no. one interest that goes yes. unchecked. It smells like Honey's Rock. Yeah. I sort of have a weird hatred for anime <laughs> for some reason. Except for Totoro. Well, that's because I grew up with that with well, that's understandable. since a very young age. Right, mm -hmm. right. I don't know. I, so did she give you any other text? The one anime I think I've, had, I've ever had any interest in watching is maybe Cowboy Bebop, and I've never, I've, I've seen one episode, that's, I think. That show is so bad. It is? I don't like it. I mean, it's not that great. I mean, it's no mystery science, but I don't know. Mystery Science Theater is one of the greatest shows ever, so we can just gonna leave it at that. And uh, and this new season, if you have Netflix, I I would highly recommend checking it out because it's very entertaining. Oh, that reminds me, mm -hmm. The Wonder Years. I've been watching that on Netflix. I like The Wonder Years. Yes. So at least he has Netflix, so he is one step up above. Hey, Fork. that's right. Yes. And hey, hey, if you've got Netflix, then you can watch Mystery Science Theater. Or not. Or you should, one or the other. I mean, I'm sure you have better things to do with your life. Hey, I watched it for the last week. I finished the episodes yesterday, and they were very, very good. Don't make me post this episode, this segment in next week's episode. Don't do that. <laughs> I don't want to hurt your fan's feelings. It's not just a fan. It's a fan and who also was on the show, so who worked on the show. So, you know, you're, yeah. you're, you're disappointing everybody. Yeah. I've never seen an episode. All right, hold up. Don't talk. Yeah, hold up. Okay. This is Volunteer Radio, WUTK 90.3 FM, Knoxville, broadcasting from the campus of the University of Tennessee at WUTKradio.com and on your free tune-in app. Sexiest legal ID you'll ever hear. Mm -hmm. 
So you like local businesses. What's your favorite local business? Nothing too fancy. Uh -huh. I, I like nothing too fancy. They are expensive, but they've, it's worth it because they got nice clothes. Where is it? Hey. Just a, in Market Square, right? Yeah. yeah, right on the road, like leading into Market Square. Yeah, it's uh, it's sort of uh, it's adjacent to that parking garage. I tell you, a place I go into quite a bit is K Brew. K Brew? Yes. Coffee We're, shop. Heard of it? Never. Oh, been the there. coffee shop. Yeah. I thought you were, I thought you were suge suggesting a bar. <laughs> are, are you a drinker? Tea dog? Not. Not with bars now. Okay, that's Big, a good thing. Occasionally, though. Big coffee drinker, though? Yes. All right.